Hi there again, uh, welcome to another one of my videos. My name is uh, James and I'm a volunteer with the, for the Mind Body Project. Uh, today I want to talk to you about how isolation and loneliness has impacted our clients and how the project actively reduces this. Uh, first, I'd like to frame the situation uh, a little bit, um, especially with our clients. Uh, naturally, um, these are clients um, being referred to the Buddy Project and were already individuals for whom loneliness and isolation was already a big part of their lives. Um, when the lockdown happened, this became the most prevalent and consistent complaint I heard amongst my clients. Loneliness, isolation, and oftentimes fear. Um, what also became, quickly became uh, consistent, however, was hearing my clients pick up the phone and say, oh, James, I was waiting for your call, or, you know, I'm so glad you called. And I always smiled when I heard this because it was exactly the sort of feedback you want to hear as a volunteer. Um, Oftentimes, clients would have so much to tell me when they picked up the phone, you know. Uh, oh, you won't believe what happened. Oh, I forgot to tell you when we last time we spoke. Um, but there were other times as well. There were other times where clients were feeling really low um, and lonely and sometimes they wouldn't even want to speak. Uh, in these times, it was up to me to try and uh, spark some kind of positive shift. Um, I have one client who is a big trivia fan. Um, and he's been struggling with physical health. Uh, I often engaged in trivia and quizzes with him when he wasn't feeling too up to the call. Um, I have another client and uh, she's in her 90s. And for her, the most important thing for her is exploring her past and reminiscing over the life she's had. Um, simply exploring her past is something that really just sparks that joy in her. And even when she wasn't feeling up to speaking, just prompting those memories made that spark come out a little bit. Um, there are so many uh, varied ways myself and other volunteers have interacted with our clients. And I can say that I have consistently heard positive feedback from my clients regarding our impact on isolation and loneliness. It's something we've done really well, I find. Um, our clients often have a lot of issues and we're not doctors, we're not health specialists, but I like to think we're pretty good at being there for people.